Hello everyone, welcome back to our Amazon channel and today we are going to talk about Selenium IDE. Yes, you heard me right. Before moving into Selenium web driver, we should uh, talk about Selenium IDE and understand it and what are the real use cases of Selenium IDE. Now, when it comes to test automation, there are two approaches we can choose among. First one is record and playback and other one is descriptive programming. Many commercial tools out there in the market supports record and playback as well as descriptive programming. So Selenium is also not left behind. They have also launched the Selenium IDE that is their record and playback tool which we can use for many real world situations. So let's get started. Selenium version 4.0 IDE is a record and playback tool for web automation. So in this video, we will be discussing about Selenium IDE, its real world use cases and how to download and set it up in the browser. And we will also see how to record the test using Selenium IDE and playback. As I said earlier, Selenium IDE is simple record and playback of interactions with the browser. So we can we can simply record actions on the browser and playback. We can use Selenium IDE to create quick bug reproduction scripts. We will talk more about this. It is a web ready solution. We can also debug test scripts in Selenium IDE easily and it also supports cross browser execution. We will also see how we can execute the scripts that we record on Chrome browser, how we can execute it on other browsers like Firefox, Edge or even Safari. And the tests that we create using Selenium ID are resilient tests. So when we say resilient, uh, the documentation says that when we, when the Selenium ID captures the web element and its locator details, so it captures multiple locator details for one web element. So during the playback, if one locator fails, it tries with the remaining locators until it is successful. That, that is why the tests that are recorded using Selenium ID are more resilient. And test case reuse feature is also available. So we can call other tests from our test script so that we can reuse the recorded scripts again and again in different test cases. So we don't have to record the script, same scripts again and again. And they also supports the customized plugins. We will talk more about that later. What are the real world use cases of Selenium IDE? So the first use case is rapid prototyping validation. So what does it mean? It means so the business stakeholders, if they want to release a new feature, they do not uh, develop it entirely and release it to the entire world, right? So how they do it is they release a early sample of a new feature and they try it on customers before developing the entire feature, right? So we want to validate those features quickly. So uh, instead of uh, using descriptive programming and write a whole lot of test scripts using programming language, it's better to use Selenium IDE and record those uh, scenarios which will validate the new feature right quickly and easily. And we can even rerun those uh, scripts again and again until we are making sure that the, uh, the feature is being accepted by the users or not. That is one use case. Another use case is that us suppose you are doing exploratory testing on an application, right? So you don't need to remember each and every action that you perform. So you can simply keep Selenium ID recorder on and perform exploratory testing on the application that you are testing. You can always rerun those scripts again and again to to go over the scenarios that you executed. If you want to 
reproduce the work right you don't need to perform actions manually each time right so you can create a quick uh, bug reproduction scripts and you can share it across your team members uh, so they can simply run the scripts and see uh, how the bug uh, is reproduced so this way qa engineers can save a lot of time and effort definitely it is not meant for thorough regression testing but qa engineers can definitely use the selenium id to save a lot of time and effort uh, and they can avoid executing same scenarios again and again be it for prototyping validations be it for exploratory testing or be it for bug reproduction scripts so qa engineers can get a lot of benefit from this now let us see how we can download and install the selenium ide in the browser so there are plugins available for chrome firefox and edge you can choose uh, any fav favorite browser of your own i will go with chrome selenium ide i just copied the link from the presentation and this is the selenium ide chrome extension now there is a add to chrome button here i'm just adding it to the chrome add extension now this will install the selenium selenium ide has been added to the chrome okay and let's just close this pop up and okay but looks like the extension is not available let me pin it to my browser so that i can see it over here yeah now you, we can see the selenium extension selenium id extension is added successfully so i click down selenium id and you can see selenium id window is on the screen so it asks us what would you like to do if you have an existing project you can open an existing project and add new scripts to it you can create new project or you can close selenium id but if you are opening this uh, selenium id for the first time you can choose record a new test in a new project so i'm going to hit this one we have to specify the project name i will mention the project name as autognizant and hit okay then it asks me for a base url so what is the use case of base url before you can start recording you must specify a valid base url so that means all of my tests will start by navigating to this url so i will use simple google.com url and hit start recording button this will launch a new browser and with base url open that is google.com and you can see at the bottom right corner selenium id is recording the actions so we will first validate that the google home screen is visible so i will validate it by validating the google image so i will just right click on the image click on selenium ide and put an assertion whether it is present or not so we can see couple of options here assert verify and wait for and store so we can store the text title and value in you know, variables and what is the difference between assert and verify so if you use verify methods it will verify the element is uh, present or not present but even if it is not present it will continue the execution and when we use assertion methods it, if the element is not present it will stop the execution that is the difference between assert and verify in case of assert it will stop the execution if it is not able to find the element in case of verify even if the element is not present it will continue the execution so let me put assert for this google image i will put one more assert for gmail link and then we can see 
ಒಂದು ಸೆಲೆನಿಯಂ ಐ ಡಿ ಇ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆರ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡೆಡ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಟೂ ಅಸರ್ಟ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡೆಡ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಮೋರ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆನ್ ಜಿಮಿಲ್ ಬಟನ್ ದೆನ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲಿಡೇಟ್ ದಟ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಬಟನ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲಿಡೇಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಸಿ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಚರ್ ದ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸಿ and i will say that text assert text okay i think that is enough i will just go back to selenium ide and stop the recording so to stop the recording i will just hit on stop recording button it will ask me to provide test name for this recorded test so i will say create account test i will hit okay now we can see the create account test is created in in the autovision project so uh, if i want to save everything there is a option save project so it saves everything this is how we can record the test if i want to uh, export the test locally then i will just uh, export it in the download folder for now so you can see that autognition.side file has been downloaded okay so these are the simple steps that we have to follow while recording the test now let us run the test and see how it works so i'll just click on run current test so it clicked on gmail it clicked on create new account and that is where we stopped the script so we can see the script executed successfully all the steps got passed this is the very simple test Uh, but i just wanted to show the basic functionality of the selenium ide this was a very simple uh, recorded test and i executed it but we will understand uh, more complex scenarios and we will explore all options that are available in the selenium ide in the next video that's all for today's lesson thank you so much for watching